Hey everybody, <clears throat> good morning. It is Monday morning and there's a little shadows because it is morning. It's like 6.20. And I thought I would uh, try to get you caught up with my daily July journal because I have three days to decorate. And I was just, I had, you know, all this time off and boy, I was busy. Fourth of July, I had all afternoon that I could just be by myself and craft. And Friday morning, I was able to be by myself and craft. And that was about it. I was super busy. I mean, we just had stuff to do. And, and then I fit any crafting in where I could because I was really trying to get that nature journal done because I wanted to get that in the shop this week. So I did actually finish it and did the flip through last night. So tonight that will be in the shop. Okay, before I go any further, I know that Barbara Garrison on YouTube watches my videos. Barbara, I'm trying very hard to, <laughs> to get your <clears throat> junk journal to you that you won. And I just need your address. So, um, I've commented on a couple of your comments and in the giveaway video and I gave you uh, my email address so you could mail me email me your address so if you could go back and look at those and see like on the giveaway video uh, where I chose the winner that will have my email address um, for you to email me I've got it all packaged ready to go with your name so I would love to get that off to you all right, so um, Friday, Thursday was the last time I actually did anything, I guess. Um, I did a video on that. Friday, um, my husband worked, of course. It was lovely weather out, just beautiful weather, sunny, high of 85. Um, I was able to spend the entire morning in my craft room. I did a Bible journaling video, a nature junk journal process video. And then in the afternoon, I went and visited a good friend of mine um, for a couple hours, which was wonderful. And she had a bunch of stuff. She gave me a couple containers for like beads and laces and stuff. And because I showed her the junk journal, she was like, oh my gosh, do you want this? So um, she bought this. It's full of prints and a botanical book. They bought it because they wanted some prints for their bedroom. So they took six of the prints and framed them and she said I didn't want to get rid of the book she said but I didn't know what to do with it and then she said when you showed me that you were doing this she said I want you to have it so she gave it to me and it has all these amazing ama oh my gosh prints in it I love I love it I'm gonna I might use some of these prints um, to frame myself but then um, some I would like to use for journals or something, I don't know. <laughs> and then this beautiful book, uh, The Botanical Treasury. Just look at this book. I mean, it just is full of amazing pictures. And she's like, cut it, you know, whatever you wanna do with it, cut it up, whatever. It's perfectly fine, you know, she gave it to me for that. So I'm really excited about it. And so the book, I will cut up. These, um, I'm still debating what to do, but it's really gorgeous. Um, then, okay, so anyway, I had a really good visit with her. It was so nice to visit. Then I came home and did some more junk journal work and <laughs> After supper, we just relaxed and watched some TV, had some chicken quesadillas and rhubarb pudding, and we rented a wrinkle in time. I had seen it in the theater with my daughter and granddaughter and friend, and then we rented it and watched that. And then I saw that Anne with an E, new episode, season two was on Netflix. So we watched a whole bunch of those. Oh my goodness. And, and last night. This is like, I love that show. So um, if you guys are watching that, let me know and what you think of it. I It is a little different. It still keeps stuff, the, some stuff the same, 
but it did change some things up, but um, I really like it. Saturday was also sunny and nice. Um, my husband made a big breakfast for us, and then we chores. We cleaned house, I did laundry, I cleaned Monty's cage, and then I made chocolate cupcakes and potato salad for a family get-together that we had yesterday, worked on the junk journal, and then at 5.30 we picked up Sadie from Convergence, and Convergence is a big conference thing like Comic-Con, um, and there are about 6,000 people come to this. And so my daughter makes all the costumes for her and Sadie and Jamie, and they all dress up, and um, they had a really good time, and Sadie was great. So we picked her up to spend the night and uh, got Little Caesars for supper, and she picked a Legos superhero girl movie to watch. And we got her to bed at 9, but then she didn't fall asleep till almost 11. So, oh my goodness, it was a late night, and I was tired tired yesterday tired by the time we went to bed I was just like I need to sleep <laughs> uh, yesterday another beautiful day a little humid but we we were outside when we were visiting part of the time and it was perfectly fine because there was a nice breeze but we went to church uh, took Sadie with us and then Rachel came over closer to one and we took off to Northfield which is about a half hour 40 minutes away for the family get-together at my dad's and his wife's and then my brother's uh, widow and her two, my two nephews were with her and she's remarried but her husband couldn't come but she brought her mom because we know her mom too and uh, my son and his girlfriend rode down on their motorcycles and so we had a nice family visit. We stayed for about three hours and just they grilled and we just had a really good time visiting. And then we got home and dropped off Rachel and Sadie, picked up two burgers from Burger King for supper to have with our potato salad, <laughs> and um, watched an episode of Anne, and then I f did the flip through on the Nature Journal, and then we watched another episode of Anne, and then went to bed. So now it's Monday. New day. New week. Ready to go. <laughs> It's a four-day week for me, though, because we have a family reunion up north this weekend. So we're going to have Sadie overnight on Thursday, and then we're going to go Friday morning. So I'm tired. I mean, honestly, I'm just tired, and I am taking a break from Nature Junk Journal the rest of the month. Um, I'm, I'll do one next month, but the rest of this month, I just, I need a break. I honestly need a break. And I'm going to do my this and get the, you know, work on the daily stuff. And I got a few things to put in here, but, um, not a lot because I didn't have a lot of ephemera, even though it seemed like we did a lot of stuff. <laughs> Because, what did we do? Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, a blur. I had so much time off that everything's just a blur, I think. But I want to get out my owls. Because I don't want to forget my owls. Oh, and I was going to try and do this foil thing. And I didn't have time. So I want to do that. And I need to learn how to use that punch board um, for the... Um, I can't even talk. The envelopes. So there's some things I want to just take time and, you know, um, learn how to use. So that's probably good. But anyway, let me keep an eye on the time here. Make sure we're taping good. Okay. So I'm just going to put stuff down while I talk. And, um, oh, you know, I feel like I've been doing too many YouTube videos. I think because... With the junk journal, I did all these really long ones because I wanted to show you guys the process. But um, it's almost like um, I just feel like I overdid it, you know, and I'm kind of tired out from it. <laughs> and, and I didn't get the time to do this, which is really important to me, this daily. And um, as, and I love doing the junk journals and making them. I really do. Um, and I like making and working in a junk journal, especially if I can make it into a traveler's notebook, 
then I really like it because then I love traveler's notebooks because that really is my first love in journaling are the traveler's notebooks and being able to do those. So, um, but I do absolutely love making the junk journals. So that will continue, but I'm not going to show it. I'm not going to show the process so much on video. Um, just because it was just got long and I just felt like it was taking over other parts of my life. So yeah, this is like, I was cleaning Monty's cage on Saturday. So this is to show that I cleaned his cage. It was a treat I gave him only, even though he is not a hedgehog, this had things that he liked in it and he loves mealworms. But now I just got a bag of mealworms for Monty. But I got him a new little sand box. That's his potty. And that sits in the corner up a little higher so he can see out of the cage. And then I got him this flying saucer thing that you can he can run around on instead of the wheel to try that. And he hasn't quite figured that out yet. But I'm sure he will. So I'm putting down the little bit of ephemera I have first for these three days. And then I'm going to go back and I will um, add, you know, other things since that was all the ephemera that I actually had. But anyway, um, I think, I just think I need to do less videos. And the other thing is, um, this is just from church, the cup at church. You guys know I like to love to take the thing off their coffee cups that they put on and use it for showing that it was a Sunday and I was at the Welcome Center and we were in prayer ministry that Sunday yesterday too so kind of a long day but anyway um, I don't know I I don't know if I was just overdoing it with the videos or what but I am feeling a little bit down you know and I don't know I just, um, I'm feeling a little discouraged. And I, you know, I'd like to come on this channel and be all happy all the time, but I want to be real too. So if I'm going through something, I don't want to just be like, pretend that I'm not. And um, besides that, I can hear it in my voice. So if I can hear it in my voice, I'm pretty sure you guys can too. And um, I'm not often, I don't often feel down or discouraged because um, I just have that type of personality where um, I'm happy a lot and um, I don't feel like, you know, depressed. It's not something I've I've had struggles with that, but not a lot. Um, and so, um, let me tear off part of this. So when I am, I'm, I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. Um, so I'm trying to kind of think like why I'm feeling this way. And I know, I know where it started, but I think um, it was brought on by me just getting too wrapped up in getting all these videos done for the journal, the junk journal. Like, it was just like it became all consuming. And when that happens, I just, I, I don't know, I just couldn't, it was just too much, you know? And then something happened. Um, I share, okay, I just want to talk about Facebook groups a little bit. <laughs> I belong to very few Facebook groups. I just don't belong to a lot because I don't have time. So I choose carefully which ones I want to be a part of. The one I've been a part of for a very long time is Journal Your Heart Out. And I love that group. I love the women in the group. Um, they're just really nice and awesome. and. 
I feel like their family and I can share anything and uh, as long as it's journal related. So yeah, I love that group. And then I belong to Illustrated Faith's Shauna Noel's Bible study, Bible journaling community group for the Bible journaling stuff. And then I belong to Traveler's Notebook Forum, which is all about Traveler's Notebook. So I just picked the main ones that I knew of, just one for each of the things I like. So the general journaling, the Bible journaling, Traveler's Notebook, and junk journaling. And those are the only groups I belong to. And so Traveler's Notebook Forum, I love um, just seeing all the Traveler's Notebook stuff and sharing. And then I joined, uh, maybe three two months or three months ago, I joined um, the junk journal, junk journalers, junk, what was it? JJJ, so what would that be? Junk journal junkies, etc. I joined them and, cause it was a, you know, it seemed like one of the main groups and I wanted just to join one and I wanted to share um, what I was doing and, and I don't share like I share a lot of YouTube videos and honestly I don't do it to get people to follow me um, the amount of followers I have it's not like I'm trying to get followers um, I just want people to come and learn because I've learned things and I just want to share that with people and give them the opportunity to, um, you know, share and learn different things and, um, because I've learned so much on YouTube from other people that I just figured it would help people if I shared. Well, I didn't, I wasn't really thinking about the fact that because I share, I share my YouTube channel link a lot uh, in these groups. Well, I don't do it at all in the Bible journaling when I just share my pictures. But in the Traveler's Notebook forum and Journal Your Heart Out and in the Junk Journal one, I was sharing a lot of my YouTube videos. Because, and the reason I was doing it is because I figured it would help people to, you know, in their adventure <laughs> with junk journaling, you know, that it would be a help to people. And so that's why I did it. You know, it wasn't for any other reason at all was not to try and get people to follow me or anything like that at all that that's really truly honestly not my not my interest you know and that's the truth I love my community of any type of journaling you all mean a lot to me and I I just want honestly honestly I just wanted to share and I felt um, because I got called out in the junk journaling group for sharing like my videos too much and being self-promoting and I wasn't trying to be self-promoting I really wasn't anyway I apologized you know and um wouldn't said I wouldn't do that anymore and, and I wouldn't but I honestly kind of felt um, these are from my junk journal <laughs> that I made I had extra bits and pieces so I just put them in here um, I I just felt um, embarrassed I guess that I hadn't um, really that I had been that way, okay? I felt embarrassed that I had been sharing my videos too much in the group. 
and um, and then I thought, oh my gosh, you know, it came. Did it come across as being like? Do I come across as being like self-promoting in the groups I'm in? And it just, I don't know, it really discouraged me and I just felt really down about it. I really did. And I thought about it and I decided to pull out of the junk journaling group just because I felt embarrassed and like, um, kind of mortified that I came across that way because it wasn't my intention to come across that way at all and I just felt like I couldn't be in the group because I don't know it had been called attention to and so I thought okay and now I'm in the traveler's notebook group and I'm not going to be posting videos anymore um, because I don't want the same thing to happen in that group because I really love that group and I don't want to feel awkward in it. So I'm just gonna share pictures, take pictures, share pictures, you know. And I do participate in that group. I try to answer questions. I try to like people's things and really participate. And in the junk, you know, my journaling one, the journal your heart out. You know, I wanna be a part of the groups and I wanna participate and I want to, um, oh my gosh, I got a ton of pages. So, I, um, I really do want to be careful with those groups not to get, like, I don't want to ruin, you know, my relationship in those groups and with them so I want to be more careful about that so I did pull out of the Bible journaling group because I wasn't participating I uh, whenever I did a Bible journaling thing I would share the pay I would just share the pictures and the scripture verse but I wasn't participating in the group so I didn't think that was fair to not to be a part of a group but not participate so that I did think was not right. So I pulled out of that, put out of the junk journals group. I'm staying in Journal Your Heart Out and I'm staying in Traveler's Notebook form, but I'm not going to be posting my videos all the time because um, I just feel like I it can't it comes across wrong. So even though I wanted to, I want to share my stuff. I can just share with pictures and it will be perfectly fine. So that's where I am with that and hopefully I'll be fine after I get some rest and this week I'm just going to take a break and I'm not going to be on as much. I'll come on, you know, and say like when you know, I will come on occasionally, but I'm not going to like be doing a whole ton of videos this week I need I just need a break and um, so that's that's kind of what's happening there and uh, of course I'll be gone Friday through Sunday and so there won't be any it's a family reunion up north and I'm not going to be doing any journaling or anything just you know taking a break and having a relaxing time. I'm not bringing anything with me except this journal to write in, but otherwise I'm not bringing anything. I might bring my nature journal to write in too. So probably all I'm gonna do is bring pens to write in, the journal, the two journals, so the nature and this, pens to write, <laughs> and that's it. I'm just, I'm not gonna do anything. I have to take a break. I just have to for my own sanity. <sighs> I don't have anything to do here, any pictures, so I'm just, I'm just putting pictures in, just for, you know, I'm just gonna kinda collage, because I don't know what else to do, because I don't have any ephemera. But anyway, you guys, thanks for listening to me. It actually makes me feel better to talk this out with you, because sometimes, you know, 
I have all that you have all this stuff going on oops, in your mind and geez <laughs> and you don't like you don't talk to anybody about it so you're not talking about it not expressing you know like who am I gonna tell so I thought well if I talk to you guys um, I think that will be good and I'll feel better and it will help me I think I think it will help me so that's kind of my thought process there oops yes got a mess um with that whole thing so thanks for listening to me rattle on here and my thoughts and what I'm feeling and I don't know maybe you guys go through the same thing and sometimes I feel like social media just gets a grasp on me that I don't want it to I like it because it's such a good way to connect with people and be a part of their lives and see what they're doing but then there's times I just I have to back off because it can just get to be too much too strong and uh, yeah that's kind of my feelings I want to fit this on here was from Allie Brown. So was that cute little, um, where is he? That was an Allie Brown too. So adorable. So that's where I'm at. So this week I'm going to step back a little and breathe. <laughs> and I'm not going to do a whole bunch of videos and work on a whole bunch of stuff because I, number one, I've got a short week because of the reunion and it's going to be, I got to prep for that and I just, you know, sometimes you have to take a step back for your own sanity and well-being and um, that's, that's what I need to do. So that's what I'm going to do. And Hopefully, I will come back all refreshed and feeling ready to take on life again <laughs> in my usual passion for journaling of all types because I do love it. But yeah, it's kind of where I'm at. And I'm sure you guys are too. And I'm not doing it just to get sympathy, seriously. But um, I know that some of you must go through these same sorts of things and feelings. And um, maybe me talking about it will help you. Which, you know, that's great. That's really um, the best thing, I think. If we can help each other out. I think it's why I like listening to YouTube videos too because people a lot of times will talk about stuff in their lives and um, it's it's really good. I think it's really good. I'm going to do some owls in here. I'm going to do this big old owl right here. He's so cool. I love these Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree owls. They're adorable. Um, so I'm just going to put a few of them around on the pages um, let's get back here to where I was that's a lot of pages got, I'm just gonna do these owls because they're so cute and I need an owl page you know that's my little goal right an owl on every page <laughs> so I'm just gonna stick these babies on but anyway, I hope, you know, 
you could relate in some way to what I'm going through and I hope that I hope it helps you know I really do I think we just we need to talk about things and um, I think that helps us a lot if we do if we do talk about stuff oh I already had an owl on here well now I have two owls <laughs> I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna change it. And I'm just putting one owl for this double spread. So where, where should he go? Let's put him up here. <laughs> oh my goodness. I got all these cute flowers too. But anyway, that was me, my life this weekend and the stuff that went on and that is how it is sometimes I just want to get these little pieces put out and about so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna knock them around in different little spots because I only got a few might as well use them right there we go. All done. Okay. You guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for listening to me. I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. And I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good week. I will be on once more for sure this week. Uh, and that might be all. Um, but for sure, I'll be on one more time. So, I hope you have a great week. And, um... I appreciate all of you. I hope you know that. Bye.